the most important thing is I think the team's ready to go. We're all hungry, we're all competitive people, uh, and it's time to get a good result. Like the first five or six days could be the make or break of this league, so uh, that would be our biggest plan, to either be in lead or in touch with the leaders and then uh, see what uh, unfolds from there. Probably done, I don't know what, 12 jobs since yeah. we started yesterday afternoon. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Crazy. I haven't done sailing like this in a long time. I wouldn't say we're winning, but we're winning in this half an hour. Not get too high, not get too low. You know, it's easy to look like a hero, and then on the flip side. It's easy to feel like you want to just pull your hair out. Now we're around these top three guys, I'll call them, because they tend to be shown the way, and we're um, putting it with them, so it's really, really nice. Well, you see a little bit of their hard work uh, come to fruition. It's uh, pretty good. They're now set on port. Maraca Strait because it's a famous place, famous for a bit tricky, so I've never been through and I'm really looking forward to go through. <laughs> Better to be lucky than good, is what I say. Well, we got a shift and um, we, we opted to, to tack on it. it. It looks like the other boats didn't get that shift until later. It feels clear. Basically, it's a, a sea of rubbish. It's quite sad, really, to see. Okay, Dave, you're good to come lower. Good course. Very interesting, this bar. It's nice to see also the faces of the friends of the other boats after a lot of days of ocean. It's nice. It's good. We're going up wind. Boat's going well, made some good decisions last night. Just under 900 miles to Estonia, and hopefully we can keep pushing and have a good result. It looks like it could be a tow. Yeah, we're finding this a bit stressful, you know, we're uh, dodging uh, ships and, and stuff going around here at the bottom of Singapore. So we're crossing in front of a tow. Good then, come on. Board down, Cecil Furl, sails back. Driver tacks off. Yeah, high stress level. Eight out of ten, I'd say. Um, we're just getting close to the coast of Vietnam here, and uh, a few hours ago, it didn't look like there were very many fishing boats around, but all of a sudden, um, there's a ton of them. So you can see that this guy's got a much bigger net. Can you see the lure well? You see all these red ones? Three hundred and eighty-eight mile inshore race coming up. Wow! Abu Dhabi here. 200 miles to the end. I think this team's got a lot of resilience. You know, we um, we were able to hang with the top group the whole time, which was our goal, and um, really pushed hard to you know build on all the things we've been learning on in the first two legs. So, you know, I'm really happy with how it went, and I think the the learning curve can only continue to go up. So, hopefully, uh, more more good things will come for us. If you remember, we said leg one, we had to work on boat speed. Leg two, it was communication. And leg three, we put those two together. We've still got to work on both, but um, you can see the results of our efforts. 